welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra and I'm broadcasting live from Los Angeles. The topic of today is uh, one of our viewers from uh, Nederland contacted me, wrote to me that she wants me to talk about my five near-death experiences and basically how it's affected me as far as um, my view of life and how uh, it affects, um, affects makes me uh, this uh, affects me on my decisions and how do I live my daily life based on that experience. Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, you uh, spoke earlier many times about your 5D, your 5 uh, uh, near-death experience, please. Um, and I think you've, you've learned, or, or what did you, did you take from it? What is your biggest, yeah, point, your view of life? What did it change? How did it change your life? Yes, great. It's a wonderful question. Um, <clears throat> I appreciate it. So I was going to talk about something else, but since today is the only your day off and you can participate in the academy, uh, you let me know. I appreciate it. So I'm going to talk about this this topic. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. So, and. Uh, Actually, when I counted how many times I was close to really go to the other side, I discovered it six times. So I think I got one more left. If it's seven, then I'm at the end of the line. If it's nine, then I got three more left. What do they say? Cat has seven lives or cats have so many? Yeah. Okay, so each, each near-death experience was profound, had its own uh, qualities, and what happens is when you are so close and to the death, and the death is very close, the death wants to kiss you in, on your lips. And it gets that close and to take you. Overall, it made me realize a number of different things. One of the main things it made me realize is that my bags are packed. So let's say I have a backpack and, and my backpack is packed and I am ready to go. I'm ready at any moment that the maker calls me back that I, I have to be ready to go. Also I realized that this is a one-way contract that we have with our maker and this one-way contract it's non-negotiable it's non-renewable it's subject to termination at any moment without any prior notice that's the contract you have with the maker. You can negotiate the day you have to leave this planet, the day you have to leave your body. It's not for negotiation. It's non-renewable. You can't renew this contract. When the contract comes to the end, this is it. There's no ifs 
or buts that, oh, give me a little bit more time, God. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. I didn't take this journey. I didn't take this trip. I didn't say nice things to my family or my friends. Or I didn't do everything I wanted to do. When the contract has ended, it's ended. You're leaving your body and you're going to the other side. There's no ifs or buts. That's how it is. You don't have anything to say. And there's no notices. It's You can terminate at any moment. There's no prior notice. It's not like you rate late on your payment on your car or your apartment rent or house mortgage and they give you notices that you can you have a month or three months to pay this bill or you will lose your house or your car there's no notices it's sudden suddenly the plug is pulled and you have to go. There's no ifs or buts. That's how it is. This dear life that we're hanging on to it so dearly, some of us have major fears of death. I would say majority of population on this planet, they are very afraid to die. And they're afraid, we're all afraid of something we don't know what that is. You don't know what's on the other side. But we're afraid of the unknown. And we'll do whatever we have to do to hang on and try to squeeze a little bit more life out of this. So we hang in there longer. What I realized is the day of my death is already set. And it doesn't matter what I do. I can live a dangerous life. I can try to play it safe. I can just stay home every day and not go anywhere and not have any contact with anyone, any anyone outside, so I'm afraid of coronavirus. Or I can be reckless and go out there and just be out there among people. It won't make any difference. The moment I'm supposed to go is already set. You cannot change it. You can't negotiate it. You can't postpone it. There's nothing you can do about it. It's already written. It's already set. There is nothing in this world anybody can do to change it, to delay it, to extend it. <laughs> 